Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new let's play of Costume Quest with your host of Audition X145. This is going to be a completely blind playthrough. I have no idea what is going on in this game other than some sort of costume thing? I really don't know. Um, what I do know, however, is that this is made by Double Fine, the same studio that brought you Psychonauts and Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend is another game I have not played, um, but Psychonauts is one that I have. I absolutely love Psychonauts. That is one of the games that really kind of got the indie scene out in the open. So, St Double Fine is a pretty influential studio, and they have a very unique art style, to say the least. Um, this game I picked up in the Double Fine bundle that in a Steam sale. It came with Psychonauts, this game, Brutal Legend, and a couple others by Double Fine, um, in a nice little bundle for six bucks, so it was well worth the money. But um, since I have no clue what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and look through this uh, how to play here and do some, maybe some funny narration for you guys. I don't, I don't know. For, I don't know how many of you have played this game, and if you have, then you can go ahead and skip ahead to where I actually get around and bumble and play silly. Trick or treat. It's Halloween night. Time to build up your costume, go trick-or-treating, collect candy, bob for apples, and use your costume's insanely cool powers to battle monsters! Your notebook. A girl named Sadie has opened a shop in each neighborhood where you can trade candy for battle stamps. Battle stamps are, access are accessories that each party member can equip in a notebook. Hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing we have a party rather than just playing as one character. Some provide helpful buffs, and some provide all new combat abilities. You can open your notebook by pressing Q. Here you can see your current quests, your character status, and the creepy treat cards and battle stamps that you've collected. You can get new creepy treat cards from combat by bobbing for apples or by talking to friendly characters. Okay. Collect every creepy treat card and you'll unlock something super cool. Monster Gates. To progress through the world, you have to get through a series of monster gates. Monster gates won't open until you've trick-or-treated at every house in a neighborhood. After you've visited a house, its light will turn off. To trick-or-treat, walk up to a house with its light on and press space. Sometimes you'll get candy and XP from a friendly human. And sometimes you'll encounter a monster who's looking to steal candy. Time for combat! If you want to use a supportive ability, press the corresponding button and then use W, A, S, or D to select an ally. Okay. Every costume has a special power that charges up during battle. After it's fully charged, you can use it by pressing Q. You can press Shift to cancel a selection. Use W, A, S, D to select an enemy. Press the corresponding button on the ability menu to use that attack or ability. Whenever you attack or defend, directions will briefly appear. If you successfully complete the action, you'll deal more damage or take less damage from an enemy. If you want to run from combat, press and hold R. Chicken. Now for the best part, costumes! To equip a costume on yourself or a party member, press and hold tab. Use the arrow buttons to select a character and click the costume you would like to select. Click done to equip. Outside of combat, you can use a costume's exploration ability by pressing shift. Different costumes have different abilities, we were told that already. You can get new costumes by finding costume patterns and collecting the three required materials for each costume. After you've collected all the costume pieces, it's ready to equip. And that is the last page. So I guess there's really not a huge amount to this game. I could be completely wrong. Pale Bash. That was okay. Alright, I guess we'll find out what happens. So... Oh, and there's... I guess this uh, is an expansion or something? I'm not sure. But um, also, I was... Uh... Oh, cutscene, okay. I will talk later since I have no idea just how much talking there will be in these cutscenes.
Apparently there's no talking. <laughs> it's about terror. And candy, of course there's always candy. So we're in a strange town, but we need to make new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Ah. Candy crisis. Do I get to choose who in who's in charge? Hmm. Do we want Big Sister, or do we want the bratty brother? Uh... Hmm. Ren or Reynold? Let's go with Ren. <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll see how much I regret that decision. What? What What did Reynold do to the cat? Hmm. I'm debating if that was a good idea putting Red in charge. Good to know, Reynold. Alright, let's go up to a house and trick or treat. Dietetic marzipan I found on my couch. Wow. I knew your stupid costume was going to get in the way of my trick-or-treating. <laughs> How do you know it wasn't your costume? Maybe at the next house I'll hate robots but love garbage. I mean, candy. And yes, the light is on. What? <laughs> oh. That's not good. That's a monster, isn't it? <laughs> this is just great. Okay, so we can't do anything at that house. Wait, what? Grubbin. Huh. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Section 5, what? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, jeez.
What on earth? You've entered a battle. Defeat monsters in battle to earn experience points, candy, and other rewards. Press E to use basic attack. And then I have a missile barrage? Okay. This is, uh, interesting to say the least. Oh, crap. <laughs> Every costume is a special power that charges up during battle. Your special power is now fully charged and ready to use. Press the Q button to use your missile barrage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when did Gundam come into this game? <laughs> um, hello? When did we suddenly have a necromancer? <laughs> Drusilla is not a very nice person, is she? Uh. Okay. What just happened to the guy in the car? Oh, poor Ren. She's not very sympathetic to her little brother, though. <laughs> what? Meow. <laughs> What do you have there, kitty? Looks like a piece of paper to me. The pattern. And now we need to get materials for it. And the cat is gone. This game is very strange. I like it. Quest added, robot repair. Press Q to view. Your candy pail can bash some objects. I believe that was... E. Yeah, okay. And we get candy from the pumpkins, okay. What? So what is... Okay, so apparently we have candy and experience, so does the... I'm guessing the experience is like pretty much any other game where you have leveling up. But what is the candy for? Is that some sort of currency in this game? Would make sense, considering it's Halloween. Playing a Halloween game on Christmas. <laughs> By the way, um... What I wanted to talk about during when that cutscene came up, a treasure coffin, huh? You never know what you'll find inside one. Space bar. A costume material, cardboard box. An essential structure element of my costume. Who did put it in that strange coffin, I wonder? Very good question indeed. I need to find the other two costume materials. Anyway, um... Since a lot of you are fans of my Harry Potter Let's Plays, I thought I would talk a little bit about that. Um, a lot of people have been recommending the console versions of the first three Harry Potter games to me for the Xbox, GameCube, and PlayStation 1? PlayStation 2? I think it's for PlayStation 2. Um, and I've been taking a look around for that. Unfortunately, there aren't many Xbox emulators that work very well, and I don't have any console, actual consoles, so it's a little bit difficult, and even if I did, I'd have to have the hardware to record it. 
This is my own house. I'm definitely not in a hurry to go back home. Of course. Of course you're not. Don't want to return home and get grounded now, do you? But, um, basically, I've been looking around at the uh, other Harry Potter games and giving them a try out. And quite frankly, I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling any interest in doing them anymore. Not in the sense, like, they're not... It's not what I want to do, necessarily, but they're just not fun. And that was that was half the reason I did the the first three games in the first place was because the first one I did was very fun and I was and I was experienced with it and the second one was even better, but then the third one came around and kind of ruined it all. <laughs> and uh, I've been trying out the um, the console copies I can get my hands on, mainly the PS2 ones, and I haven't been feeling that same joy that I felt. A year ago when I played it. So I decided, you know what? I'm not going to be doing Harry Potter for Christmas, since apparently someone wanted it for the holidays. I am instead going to do something else that is just as fun and, well, hopefully just as fun and interesting and as relaxed and goofy. And I think this game might be it. Because <laughs> this, I mean, sure, we lost our little brother, but this Ren does not seem to care at all about the fact that her little brother is gone, other than the fact that she's going to get grounded for it. Which I find a little bit unsympathetic towards his cause, considering he just got thrown over a probably about a 10-foot fence. 8-feet fence, whatever. Into what might be a demonic realm? Definitely a monster realm. But, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to these guys. Excuse me, got some trick-or-treating to do. Guess again, we run all the trick-or-treating in this town. Your name is Luke, huh? 30% rise in candy harvest since we took over. Uh-huh. And Seamus is even worse. Ancient Winds, classic. You seem to be the leader of these guys. Travis, no one trick-or-treats this neighborhood before me. Is that so? Why are you in bandages? Is uh, Travis not the nicest kid on the block? Wow! <laughs> well, case of mistaken identity. I did not want to do that. Oh, pff, <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Hmm. I'm the boy in this town, I'm just too much dick. Does it actually do anything if I keep hitting him? It doesn't look like it, alright. So Travis is also not a fan of puns. I have to say, though, that one was actually pretty good with I'm Not Your Mummy. I like that one. Now, how do we... Hmm. Oh, wow, we go up here. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, another coffin. Aluminum foil. Sounds right for a robot costume. Still not sure what this candy's for yet. But we're getting a fair amount of it. Certainly a lot more than I get. 253 pieces already? Jeez. And roller skate shoes. That doesn't sound right for a robot costume. But it works. Okay, so there's no really any crafting, it's just you get you get whatever. You get the materials and it's done. If you have a blueprint. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's great! There's one of the grubbins. And you want me 
Okay. Stinky, you're the one in a trash can. <laughs> Well, he's got a point there if I'm standing by these trash cans all night. Some costumes have special abilities that can help you in sticky situations. Press and hold shift to use your costume ability. Like I've been doing! Wee! <laughs> now to bust through that black talking monster gate. Hello. Needed to get through my monsters to my brother. Uh, Officer Nichols is not going to uh, vehicular malfeasance. Big words just because, huh? Alright, so now I need to get... Uh... You guys having fun over here? Thank you, Travis, for Al clarifying for me your position on nerds. Ooh, wow, Renan does have some guts. <laughs> Program for protection. Now, what is this one about? Go after Renal. Trick or treat. Find out more about that creepy witch who stole my costume. Program for protection. Bullies are oppressing the weak in Auburn Pines. They must be stopped. Use my robot's boost ability to outrun Travis. Well, I can punch him. Yeah, we'll see, Travis. Bye! Irreverent behavior, huh? Ah, darn. He's going to smash me like a weak old pumpkin, if you can catch me. I feel a little ninja in the background there. Hi guys. How's it going? The more you make me run, the more bugs I'm going to shove up your nose. God, I just love Double Fine for the lines they have. Whoops. Time to go rip that big black monster gate off its hinges. Oh my gosh. How new is this game? So somebody is into... Fantasy. So I can switch between costumes now. Are both incredibly superior. <laughs> I'm on a quest to rescue my brother from the monsters. I'm sure you noticed the monsters. Shh. You had me at quest. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh. So we have our own little protection thing. Cool. Alright, now we need to start trick-or-treating. Oh, I can smash open mailboxes. So Everett eats lunch with the in the science room, huh? <laughs> That's one way for Ren to put it. Okay. Oh, wow. No, it really wasn't a whole lot of candy, actually. Not so tough without your leader. Actually, he was the one who moderated our violent tempers. Are you sure about that? Because you really don't seem to be... Is that so, huh?
You know, uh... Brad has a point. Mummies are not known for being fast. Travis is gone, so I, bet I guess that about wraps things up for you guys. <laughs> if Travis were here, I'd see him kill over better buttons than that. If you say so, Gabe. Alright. Spect, he's making gazpacho. He kept talking about something that had to be served cold. Is that so, Zack? Okay. <laughs> Supposedly Alan is faster than us. Uh-huh. So apparently these guys are... This is a very strange neighborhood, to say the least. There's monsters here, and there's, um... Oh boy. Hi, Grumman. Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and use our attack. Oh, wow. Whoops. Wow, I am sucking at this all of a sudden. <laughs> Okay, so I need to remember my hotkeys. Alright, they're going for me. Wow, okay. Alright, that's one... Crap. That's one down. This is a very interesting way to do this. Alright, let's just get rid of this Bombarder. <laughs> oh, that's great. This is a very interesting take on the, uh... I got a new item, huh? And an achievement, apparently. That would have been more fun if we had some battle stamps. I remember those being explained earlier. Wait, what was that? Sticks and stones may break my... I love how they have different dialogue for... Sticks and stones may break my bones, but nerds will never harm me. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Brad <laughs> just likes the costume. Lucky you're on break. God, this this entire game is just very bizarre. But it's it's also still very childlike. It has that goofiness innocence element to it. Let's go ahead and knock on a door again. Aw, thank you. So much candy. And now we can go fast. Very interesting, uh... Oh, whoops. You don't do candy trades. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to hit her by accident. <laughs> oh, well. Give this a knock. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, this is interesting, to say the least. Said that at least four times now, if not twenty. Oh, we have a uh, little coffin here. 
with 20 pieces of candy. Okay, I'll go for that. Hello. I'm supposed to have lit candles in my hair like Blackbeard, but Mom said no. <laughs> oh well, you tried, Randy. Harmonica. I'm not sure where that would come from, but okay. See you around, Brandon. Alright, we can't go past there. Apparently the tree's in the way. Okay, but we need to save our little brother. So that we don't get grounded. <laughs> oh boy. Hello, Grubbin. There's not very many games where you see Gundams and Colossus Knights fighting <laughs> side by side. Very interesting indeed. Ah, oh, I think I missed the timing on that. Oh well. Ah. Press the wrong button. Ah, wrong button. Oh well. This game... <laughs> uh, it's hilarious, I love it. Q. <laughs> well, we have new items, apparently. Forgot to get battle stamps from Sadie while I was at the park. We could totally use some. Once again, talking about those battle stamps that I have no idea what they do. And our bag is starting to get more... Our bag is starting to get full, interestingly enough. And we're almost full on XP, come to think of it. One piece of candy each, huh? That looked more like 70 to me, sir, but um, I'll take it. Alright, now where is this? Oh, this is back here. Okay. Right, let's take a look around. Let's see what we got. Ah, here's the door. Get that right, Everett. This is one door I have to go alone. <laughs> uh, I like Everett. He's awesome. But first, let's talk to some people. Hide and seek with your friends, huh? I'd like to join in, Julian. Why not? If you find all six of us, you get a prize. Ooh. Okay. Alright, let's go to Q. Find all six kids hiding in Auburn Pines. Found one of six. I did, huh? Well, before we go find all of them, let's go ahead and knock again. And... Monster! Knew it. I was about to make a really bad pun there. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> it is forever lost. Basically, though, think of pop culture and Gundam. Oh, I had to press shift there. That was different. Whoop. God, I love this. Yep, we're going for the guardsman. That's cool. Don't even care. <laughs> we got him either way. Oh, this is a warlock. Okay. Attack up, huh? 
Hmm. That's Missile Barrage. It's gonna do a fair amount of damage. Alright, Warlock. Oh! Wow, he was burning both of us. That works out then. Rasms. Now you have more attacking power and health in battle. Nice. Well, if... Uh... <laughs> Brandon again. I know you would like to get some battle stamps, say, uh, Everett, from Sadie, but... Um, first we need to get there. <laughs> And we have another coffin. With candy! Yay! Alright, let's... I think we're going to avoid... going into any of those places again. For the time being. Hey, who is this? Hello. Ramp is on a need-to-know basis, as in you need to know the password. Okay. Oh, you're one of the kids we were trying to find. Hey, Wendell. Well, if it's trying to find them like that, then this shouldn't be too hard. I was afraid they were going to be hiding in, inside things. Which I suppose works in my favor, but... Uh, would have been interesting, though, to say the least. For the new kid, we are certainly giving ourselves a reputation around... Reputation, right. A reputation around here. Okay, so. I need to find more candy. That looks like the park right there, actually. I think we've also been here. Hello, miss. Claire, please don't touch my dress. It's silk. Silk does fairly well, though, if it gets touched, so I don't know what that's all about. Oh, hello there. Creepy treat cards. I just need one glop to finish my set. Trade you for a rare for one. Hmm. So there's also trading cards in this one, huh? And I just found some candy on the ground. Bob. We're in grave danger, huh? <laughs> Tonight we're under attack by sugar. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Oh, this is where we can bob for apples. I think it's a little ironic, though, considering that he's advertising sugar reduction in your consumption, but, ap uh, but uh, apples are a fair amount of are pretty sugary themselves. Well, oh, so much for uh, not playing. You only buy organic produce. So watch out for worms and other parasites. Okay then. Oh, that was a bad one. Yuck. And there's already half-eaten ones? What? Well, this was an interesting game. Okay, I'm not sure what that was all about. Got more apples than a teacher on the first day of school. <laughs> so what do we win? Candy. We got candy for... Bobbing for apples? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll take it, I guess. I'm not sure what that was supposed to accomplish for advertising. Oh, we can get battle stamps from Sadie. Here we go. Why not dress that costume with some battle stamps? We're fighting monsters. And those born costumes? Our costumes are pretty amazing, I have to say. And we have slain monsters. Eh. 
Okay, so candy is the uh, currency for this game. Alright, what do these battle stamps do? Please consult my menu of tonight's specials. Ever, why are you advertising them if you have no clue what they do? <laughs> Disembodied hand. Counterattack upon a successful defend. Egg on your face ability. Damage and stun a single enemy for one turn. Moving tombstone, increased HP. Black cat, adds chance of dodging enemy attacks. Thing of the wolf, increased attack power. Hmm. I like the disembodied hand and these two down here. Moving tombstone would be nice. Would be kind of nice too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get disembodied hand. And increased attack power, sure. Now, do we want black cat or moving tombstone? I'm gonna get moving tombstone for now. I can get that later. I, I, um, okay, so it's just to leave the, to leave that, okay. Well, cool. This is a fun little one. Hi. I remember you. Uh, I didn't found your booty, but I found you. Well, I guess I did find you then. Or found your booty, rather, since that's a part of you. There are a couple kids around here that aren't doing a very good job of keeping their candy to themselves. I wonder, if I hit you, will anything happen? Save your energy for the apples. And a bake sale. Hello. It's about time you kids volunteer. The school bake sale is counting on you. What? Mrs. Putterpam. We need to get past you so we can trick-or-treat all those houses so this big gate will. Need help making pies, or else we have to cut our PE classes. What? Wow! <laughs> Apparently this is our principal. Again? You can go fetch me an ingredient to help with the pie bake. Hurry before I change my mind and give you both detention Monday. This is not a very nice principal, to say the least. Pie for the putapam. Cue to view. Alright, what do we need to get for pie ingredient? It's just a pie ingredient, okay. And it looks like this tier is uh, kind of a repeating quest. Well, cool. This game is coming off to a nice start. It would be kind of nice if they had a little more music. We're not really going to help out that old battle axe. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Sibling love is a powerful thing. No, getting grounded is... <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> Good question, Everett. Spices. Private party for patriotic heroes. Your costume celebrates science and the monarchy. How is that patriotic? You have a good point. That's another thing about these kids. They, uh, they're still goofy, but they are pretty darn smart. Have a colleague in front of the steps over there who might be able to inspire you. Just tell her I said it's a matter of manifest destiny. Got that? Okay, I'll give it a shot then. You should see a dog. <laughs> Let me give you this prescription. Statue of Liberty costume pattern. Huh, okay. So what do we need for the costume pattern? Um, something, something, something. Where found Auburn Pine subdivision? That's not very helpful. Probably a torch... A book and a cloth? I'm not sure. Oh, creepy trees. What are these? We have rasms, glop, chunk water, fruity foam. Okay. And then we have battle stamps. Alright. Counterattack upon a successful defend. I actually want that for you. Eric gets more health. 
and you also get more realm get more attack. Oh, each person can only have one. Okay. I'll go for the counter attack then. Eh, ever can have more. And you can have increased attack power. Status, HP 71. Oh, wow. Ever has a lot of health with that costume on him. And then action points. I'm guessing that's how fast you recharge? Oh, attack power, okay. I read that wrong. Okay, well, cool. So now we need to get the parts for a Statue of Liberty. But in the meantime, let's go knock on another house. Door. Something. And a monster. You look just like my parents from whom I am bitterly enraged. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, then. Alright, I think I'm going to try something a little bit different. Because I think the Missile Barrage will hit all of them. So I'm going to go after the Grub and Bombarder. Oh, nice! And counterattack. Very cool. Alright, the Bombarder is a bit stronger, so... I'm gonna bring him down a bit. Now let's go for the Guardsman. Whoop! Okay, right button. Oh, perfect! And Missile Barrage. Let's see what this does. Yes, it does! It kills both of them. Very nice! We got a Swedish nose. A Swedish nose is a thing? <laughs> okay. For a candy card, anyway. I wasn't... Oh, hello. Busted by the yard cop again. That's the hobo's blues. <laughs> so that's what you are. Okay, Mark. I would not have guessed he was a hobo, but it makes sense now that I think about it. And Wayne requires a password. You got some powerful friends, that's all I got to say. <laughs> oh, it works. Okay. But without the drenching part. Huh. So Ren doesn't want to go in there. It looks cool in there, but I'd get soaked. So we need something that'll keep us dry. For that area, I guess. That looks like another house, and a graveyard. How lovely. Someone's family grave looks like. And we got 50 pieces of candy. Cool. I'll take that. If I can just get around here. Let's go knocking on the door. And person. You had a robot costume when you were younger, huh? Good to know. I'm guessing she's not really that old. Since uh, this costume requires aluminum foil. How long has aluminum foil been around, anyway? I'm just now thinking of these things. Games make you consider the oddest things. <laughs> I mean, applicable, sure, but... Just things you don't normally think about, and that... That's an interesting witch. Alright. Let's go ahead and knock on another house. And... Monster? Yep. Not trying on those humans' clothes. <laughs> That's a little awkward. And we have two warlocks, looks like. No, it's a shaman and a warlock. Okay. Oh, 
This is kind of cool. What did that do? And that set me on fire. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Ooh. And we're both on fire now. Great. Let's just get rid of these guys real fast. Get rid of that warlock, and we are ready to go. We got wobblers. This is a very nice take on the um, turn-based combat. I like it. I just like this whole game. It's it's very cartoony. It's very funny. It's very not serious. Oh, hello. You don't do candy trades. Oh, that's Alyssa again. Would you happen to know a guy named Scissor Man? Not Scissor Man. That's um, that's the first clock tower. Ah, spoiled my own reference. Darn it. All right, now I need to find out where to go from here. Is that all the houses? I think. I don't think so. And that is a completely different location. Oh, this is how we get in here. Completely missed this. Hello. Ghost every year, same amount of candy, less effort. Yeah, I suppose that's a good point. Not sure what hitting those swings does, but okay. Just makes them rock back and forth, I guess. Alright, not sure what that does. Oh, what is this? Well, this is interesting. And then we go over the ramp. Grab some more candy. Because that's what little kids do. Among a lot of other things. Okay, there was something I could do over here. I guess there was something on the other side. Nice that I can hit through the walls if I forgot something, though. Okay, now this leads back to the street. I don't need to go back to the street just yet. But I think there's also something around here. Does this have a material that we need? No, it just has candy. Candy's good. Candy's good. But, uh... I would prefer to have another costume right about now. Now, is that all of the houses around here? Alright, let's see. No, that is not near all the houses that we ha that we need to find. Okay. Probably because we haven't fixed the, um... We haven't done the pumpkin volunteering thing with the principal yet. Okay, we can't do anything over here. And I can't go in there yet because Ren doesn't want to get herself wet. did go past this part. And we can save right here. Nice. Of 
Alright, um, not a whole lot of interesting commentary this this time around, I guess. Probably, mostly because I'm just, this game is completely new to me, and it's just fascinating with all the different things we can do at this point. And it's, it's still very goofy, it has that, uh, it is definitely double fine <laughs> that made this with the vibe they got going. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this first look at um, Costume Quest. I almost forgot the game's name. Good job, me. But in the next part, we shall go ahead and look around and see what we can find in this area. See if we can maybe get through that monster gate. So without further ado, I will go ahead and uh, stop showing off Steam messages <laughs> and let you guys get on with your day. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.